What up, comic book fam? It's your boy, Circumstances, coming back at you with another video about my comic book obsession. This time, I'm taking a look forward to the new comic book day next week. I want to take a look at some of the stuff I'm interested in, trying to hash out what I'm going to buy and what I'm not going to buy. If you're looking for a comprehensive look at every book that's coming out for the week, then I highly recommend AR Comics on YouTube. He does a great job of going over everything. So I'm not going to go over everything because he does a way better job of it than I could. Uh, but I am going to talk about the things that I'm particularly interested in getting next week. All right, first up, we're going to start with Joker number three from DC Comics and James Tynan IV, my favorite writer doing it right now. This is a great series. You might think it's about the Joker, uh, but it's really more about Commissioner Gordon and a task that he's been given to go out, find the Joker, and eliminate the Joker. Um, so you get to see his machinations, kind of him going through the decision process as to whether or not he's going to do it. He consults with Oracle. He consults with Batman. He talks to all of them to to make his decision and you really get the impression that his decision is yes. So loving this story, can't wait to read more. We've got an A cover on this one, um, which looks like uh, all the other A covers. Uh, and then we have a B cover, um, a C cover, and then well, actually also a D cover. And then we also have uh, the one in 25 Ricardo Federici, which is definitely on my list to get. So I'm not buying all the Ricardo Federici's, but I really like that Commissioner Gordon look. So uh, I will be trying to grab that one early and often. <laughs> so Joker number three, excited for that one, high on my list. Next up, we've got Children of the Atom number two, or number three. Now I'm pretty lost by this series. I think that there's a lot of stuff about the X-Men that I don't know, like this Krokoa place and things of that sort, uh, that I just don't have enough back information on to really have a firm graph of what's happening here but i've got to start this book number one i'm feeling kind of attached to it i don't want to give up on it just yet so i'm going to go ahead and grab number three and we'll see if um, i'm getting you know if i get any more engrossed in this story um, if not then i'm probably going to drop children of the atom come number four next up we got spider man spider shadow number two this is a little story from chip sadarsky um, asking the question, what would have happened if Spider-Man never gave up the Venom suit? If Todd McFarlane never was desperate to get that suit off of him? What if he kept it? What would have happened? Uh, Spider's Shadow is tackling that question. I think the question's interesting, and so I'm going to continue reading this one from Chip Sadarsky. Looks like we've got an A cover and a B cover. I am leaning towards the A cover, although I'm kind of indifferent between the two. All right, next up, that is all from Marvel for me. Moving on to Image Comics. First up, we've got the Silver Coin number two. Uh, this is another one from Chip Zdarsky. Uh, it's an anthology horror kind of series following the Silver Coin. Um, if you're old like me, you might remember Friday the 13th, the TV series. Um, it kind of has that kind of a feel to it where it's following stories, horror stories that aren't exactly connected to each other. So if you didn't get number one, you probably should still be able to get it, but you're not missing anything if you're just jumping in on number two. Um, plus number one was kind of generic for me. I think if you read the preview for Silver Coin number one, you pretty much knew the story without actually reading it. So um, I'm interested, I'm excited about this one, but number one was kind of a let, more than kind. It was a letdown for me in that it just was entirely unoriginal and, and unsurprising. Uh, but I got faith in this one, and I like the setup of it. So I'm definitely going to stick in with number two on this one. All right, sticking with Carmen, or I'm sorry, sticking with Image Comics, we have Carmen number three from Guillaume March. Uh, March, this is a, a series following, basically tackling the concept of suicide and why we do it and the, and the reason and the, and the, the, the situations that cause us to make that permanent solution to temporary problems and so you have a, a our main character who recently killed herself and she's met up with this kind of i don't know ghost or purgatory ghost uh carmen who is in this kind of skeleton suit floating around and kind of making fun of her or talking to her and you don't really i don't really know where this is gonna go but uh, she's basically flying around naked um, nobody can see her because she's dead and, and just really going over suicide and, and why she committed it and you know 
So I don't know. I don't know really where this is going, but it's interesting enough that I'm going to keep going with it. Plus, I really enjoy the art on this one. It's an interesting style. So Silver or Carmen number three from Image Comics. Filling that one. Going to continue with it. Um, still with Image Comics, we have Geiger number two. Oh, actually, going back to Carmen real quick. I forgot to go over the covers. Um, looks like we have a few covers. We've got a cover B, 1 in 25 incentive. That one's black and white. We've got a cover C, 1 in 50, another black and white, and then, of course, cover A. And uh, and then apparently there's a double cover variant for number three as well, the Gerald Perel and Dyke Ron double cover variant. Uh, that one looks kind of cool. Um, I doubt I'll be able to get that one, though. That's probably hard to get. Um, so... Assuming I can't get that special cover, cover A is what I'm going for. I don't I tend to not really feel the black and white covers unless the black, it's like a Federici where it's focusing on one thing. When you have a black and white cover and there's a bunch going it on, it just really blends together for me. And it's just not really something I like that much. So I'll pass on those black and white covers for Carmen 3, but definitely grabbing the A cover. All right, still with Image Comics, we have Geiger number two. A lot, a lot, a lot of hype. You saw me buy multiple copies of every cover for this one. A lot of people excited about it. If you haven't heard about it, I doubt it. But if you haven't, think Fallout New Vegas. Kind of post-apocalyptic world with radiation, nuclear radiation everywhere. People can't really live. Uh, but then our main character somehow survived the nuclear blast and became this radioactive glowing man that everybody talks about and has rumors and myths about. So that's the setup to the story. Excited, like everyone else, can't read. wait to read number two and see what's up with this one. Multiple covers here. We've got the cover A. We've got the cover B. We've got a cover C. And then cover D. Um, I'm probably going to buy all the covers on this one. <laughs> I love this one. So yes to all of those. All right, moving on to Mad Cave Studios. Man, it, anybody else having a hard time getting Mad Cave Studios books? None of my shops have been carried. I was able to get Nottingham number two from my shop, but there was a new Robbie's Pick of the Week this last week, Beckerist uh, from Mad Cave. None of my shops had it. They didn't even know what I was talking about. So Hard to get these mad caves. So. But Nottingham number three, hoping my shop comes through on this one because this is a big one and I'm loving it. Think Robin Hood with a Rob Zombie feel to it, right? Like a Robin Hood, but he ain't playing no games. He's out here slitting throats and giving money to the poor. I, I really like the style. I like the art. I like the setup. Um, a lot of hype around this one, mostly because it's hard to get. Um, I went ahead and just signed up and subscribed to it directly from Mad Cave. Um, so they're sending me all of the issues digitally. And then at the end, they're going to send me a trade paperback to my doorstep. So that's the way for me to make sure I don't miss at least getting to read this. But I sure would like to get the, the actual copies of it. I was able to pre-order some reprints of one and two from Things From Another World. Looking forward to getting those. Um, if you haven't been on this one, I highly recommend that you jump in. It's really cool. And I think it probably has some legs to it. Uh, but this one looks like we only have a cover A. And usually that's all we have from them. But entirely sold on this one. Really hoping I can find it. Because um, you can't order it from Things From Another World. This bad boy is not. They must have already sold out. Because there's none for sale on that site. So I'm really hoping that one of my local shops comes through on this one. Again, that's Nottingham number three from Mad Cave Studios. Loving what Mad Cave is doing right now, man. All right. All right, moving on to Aftershock Comics. That's another spot that I'm loving what they're doing. They're doing Shadow Doctor, which is probably my favorite comic I'm reading right now. Really excited about that one. But next week, they've got Project Patron number two coming out. This uh, comic book asks the questions, what if Superman had died and we all lost that feeling of security that he gave us? What would the government do to try and help us keep that security? So they kind of replace him with this, this mechanical... Um, version of the hero that uh, multiple different people are in charge of of running kind of like a military so interesting stuff not exactly sure where they're going to go with it but it's aftershocks i'm loving them and number one was interesting enough for me to grab number two so project patron number two from aftershock comics highly recommend probably still pretty easy to get that number one and moving on, still from Aftershock Comics, we have a new number one, which, as you know, I'm susceptible to these number ones. This is going to be Silver City number one. Um, we've got, uh, when a young roughneck lands in Silver City, the greedy purgatorial metropolis of the afterlife, she must adapt to her new existence while attempting to uncover how and why she died. 
Her mission is derailed, however, when she rescues a newly dead girl from a mysterious kidnapping attempt and discovers powerful kinetic abilities. Welcome to Silver City, where the sun never rises and, the sun, and nothing ever changes until now. So I have just given you everything I know about this one, but it's a number one. I'm susceptible, and it's from Aftershock Comics. So in and in on that one. We'll see how that goes. Looks like we've got two covers. No, three covers for this one. We have the A cover. We've got the Eric Hurd wraparound variant. And then we've got a 1 in 15 incentive variant, which I don't have any graphics for that one, so I can't show it to you. But definitely getting Silver City. Um, going back to Image, I actually skipped Image uh, time before time. Another number one from Image Comics. Um, this one, the year is 2140, and to escape a world with no future, many turn to the syndicate, a criminal organization who, for the right price, will smuggle you back in time to a better life. After working for the syndicate for years, Tetsuo and Oscar decide to steal one of their boss's time machines, but soon find that the one thing you can't run from is your past. Time Before Time is a brand new ongoing series where writer-artist Declan Shelby uh, joins forces with Writer in Blood team of Roy McConnell, McConville and Joe Palmer. Looper meets Saga in this extra size debut issue. So got a little time travel going back. It's a number one, it's from Image Comics. I'm in. We've got three store, we got three covers for this one. We've got the A cover, we've got the B cover, or we got a one in 25 incentive variant, and then we've got the B cover. Out of those three, kind of indifferent to all of them, so I probably just go with the A cover on that one. Um, next up, Boom Studios. We have Secret, Seven Secrets number eight. Now, I have not read any of this yet. It's by writer Tom Taylor. Lots of people loving what he did, loving what he did with Nightwing. I bought the trade paperback and I bought number seven. Um, so I am ready to start reading this one. I just haven't got it to the top of my reading list yet. But enough people have talked about this one, said it was good for me to go ahead and jump in on it in that way. So uh, I haven't read it yet, but I am going to go ahead and grab number eight as well. So I have it. Um, looks like we have four covers for this one. We've got the A cover. We've got the cover B, um, the 1 in 10 Ricardo Incentive variant, and then the 1 in 20 Ricardi Virgin Incentive variant. Of those, I really like that 1 in 10 variant, uh, but I doubt I'll pay for it, so we'll probably just go with the A. Sticking with Boom Studios, next up we got Proctor Valley Road number three. Uh, for this one, think Stranger Things, but instead of the 80s, it's set in 1969, 1970. And instead of younger kids, you got high school age kids. But other than that, the setup seems pretty much the same. Uh, you got a supernatural world with supernatural things going on. Um, I'm excited to see where this one goes. I'm not going to talk too much about it because you should read it. Uh, but Proctor Valley Road number three, excited about this one. This one's high on my list next week. For this one, we've got a cover A, uh, which is dope. I like that cop car look. We've got a cover B. Uh, yeah, And then we've got a cover D, 1 in 25 incentive. We've got a 1 in 10 ward incentive variant. And then we've got the cover E which is that variant virgin, uh, one per store incentive. So excited about Proctor Valley Road. Pretty easy to get the first three issues if you're interested. Highly recommend that you do. It's a dope book. Hopefully it continues to be dope. All right, and then last on my, um, on my radar here for a new comic book, the next week, May 12th, is going to be Firefly, a brand new verse, number three. This one's also from Boom Studios. Uh, and if you are a fan of Firefly, the show, then I highly recommend that you jump in on this one. Uh, we're following uh, Gina, uh, Wash's wife, the second in command under Malcolm. She is now first in command uh, in Serenity. Um, she has her daughter, with, which I'm assuming is with Wash, on board. And they're doing the same sort of thing that we saw when we jumped in with Firefly, doing jobs, kind of dirty jobs, trying to make a buck so they can get by in this nasty world. Same setup though, they do a job, they find a box, and instead of goods in this box, they find a girl, um, just like the original Firefly. So when I first saw that in two, I was kind of annoyed by it because I was like, ah, we already did this. But a second thought about it, I was like, you know, there's a lot of ways they can go with this and maybe they can tie it into each other in certain ways. So we'll see what they do. I was kind of annoyed, but it, it might not be bad. We'll see. Uh, definitely sticking with this one on number three. We've got multiple covers for this one. We've got the A cover. We've got the B cover. Uh, we've got a C cover. 
a D cover, an E cover, one per store, and then an F cover, one per store. And those are looking to be just virgin variants of those. So uh, that is my list of May 12 books that I'm looking at. Um, every time I do this, I usually do it offline. I put it together and I come up with a list. It always gets longer on the day of. It just never fails because I'm, I'm, I'm an addict to this game, really. Uh, but that's my list of books that I'm looking at and excited about next week. If I missed your book, please get down in the comments and tell me what did I miss? What should I be reading, man? I am new to this game. I'm trying to grab everything that's good. I want to be up on it. So um, if I'm not, if I didn't talk about a book that you're excited about next week, please let me in on it. Um, if it's something that I'm already past, maybe I can grab trade paperbacks and get in on it because I just I want to read good books, man. That's what I'm in this for. So definitely help me out down below if you got something for me. But that's all I got for you on this video. If you made it this far, I think I earned that like. So please go ahead and go down there and give me that. And if you're looking for some more content from me, I just recently had a new comic book day video that I'm pretty proud of and hype about. Uh, so you can check that out or one of these other videos over here. As always, comic book fam, I really appreciate you coming through. Until next time, peace.